back to another video. My name is Jacob and this is Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to be happy and consistently profitable. And in today's video, again, another strategy for you guys from Hassan um, in the live stream. Basically, we've um, we've taken our strategy that we've seen and developed it further. We've we've been testing it. Um, there's still some more testing to do. But we are getting good results um so we wanted to share it with you guys and yeah if you do enjoy it remember to subscribe remember to hit the like button um if you have any other kind of questions comments whatever drop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you um so yeah hopefully you enjoy and we'll see you in the next video yeah right so what it is 200 ema okay you need a 200 ema you need the MACD, right? What I'm going to actually do, I'm going to take this one off for now. Mm -hmm. Let me use a normal MACD just because people don't have that indicator. Um, that indicator is basically a MACD that, but we've had it programmed and developed a little bit different, but it works the same as a normal MACD, okay? So all we're going to do is if the market is under the 200 we're only looking for sales if it's above the 200 we're only looking for buys rule number one simple rule number two if we're below the 200 and we're only looking for sales we need the macd okay to be above this zero so you know what let me quickly take off the histograms and i'm going to quickly drop in a line here just so you guys understand a little bit better there you go okay so we're below the 200 we are looking for sales macd has to be above the zero and then we're waiting for a cross to the downside okay so you get a cross like this to the downside and then what you're doing as soon as you get the cross then you're in, you're waiting for the candle to close to confirm and then you're entering next bar market all right if um the market is above so let me find one that's above um so i like here right the market is above the 200 you're waiting for the MACD to go below the zero line and cross like it did here. Wait for it to close and then you're taking a buy. All right. Simple. Now, the second rule is, um, I think this actually looks like a loser to be fair. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Let me, shall I handpick a winner just so um, I can do the rules properly? Cool. Um, let me hand pick. Let me hand pick a winner. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, here's a winner. So there's one um, 19th of October. Okay, I got one here anyway. Okay. I'll go. I'll go to that one in a minute. Remember the time, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here, um, markets below the 200. We've pushed up above the zero line and we've crossed to the downside so once we've crossed and we open up we well we open slightly okay we open slightly there i'll drop in a vertical line i don't want to use this so there you go we're entering when this candle closes all right what you want to do is you want to enter you want to enter when that closes your stop is going two candles back on whichever's the highest okay so we've got one candle two candle you can see this is the highest point let me just take put this on highest point you put your stop at the high of that okay now we've tested a one-to-one -one, we've tested a two-to-one they both work very well um i personally i'm taking one to ones jacob what are you taking mate two to ones i'm taking one one point fives 
Jacob's taking 1.5s. I'm taking 1 to 1s. It's entirely up to you. But guys, please do your testing. Don't just trade this because we're going to be trading it. Please do your testing so you can understand, okay? Now, if I go to a 1 to 1, there you go. There's a winner, okay? Uh, Jacob's 1.5 is there about there mm -hmm. okay still a winner all right win winner chicken dinner two to one still a winner three to ones okay um that's a hand pick one there are losses in there but if you stick with it you get really really good results okay um let's see if we can find another one what was that one the 19th you said yeah at 3 30. so wouldn't have actually taken the trade but yeah. um it's a very very tiny tiny stop loss let me get my crosshair on so i can see where it is um 19th at 3 30 did you say yeah that's when the cross happens this one here yeah so right. you, you enter on uh 3 45 they open off that candle uh 3.45 so um this one no you you this one you yeah so you enter on the open of that yeah, candle. yeah right so again we're under the 200 ema's gone above crossed and we're going to enter on this candle here so it'd be the open like jacob said which is there yeah mm-hmm and we're going to go two candles up, whichever one's the highest. Okay, so one, two back. Right, let me just spread this across so you guys can see where the stop's going. Right there, tiny. Now, this is two pips, okay? This is too tight for me. Um, I I, I mean, that's why, did you say you wouldn't have entered this one because of that? Um, I mean, we wouldn't have been in it because it's 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, true. Um... um and yeah that stop is a little bit too tight for my liking okay but hey ho it's the rules and there you go so if you went for a one to one all right look you'd be out super quick uh 1.5 jacob is one there two to one all right i wouldn't recommend going more than i mean you can go more than a two to one if you want but please test it um sometimes this thing just goes on for ages all right i'll show you a trade um yesterday jacob do you remember what one us I, I was looking at yesterday um oh was it dollar yen no uh i think i can't remember, I can't remember what trade i was looking at yesterday um yeah, so yeah. that is that is the rules. What's that? We had an AED JPY short yesterday. Um at seven forty five. Uh, what was the date yesterday? Twenty first? Uh it's actually on the twentieth. Twentieth. Uh seven yeah. So this, that was the candle I entered. This one. So I entered on the seven forty five open. Just to a trade. Yeah, so this one here. That's when I entered. Yeah, so Jacob entered here. Okay, on the open. Right there. You can see we had the cross. Candle was below the 200. Cross. Two candles up. Um, so one, two. Yeah. Okay, right there. Two candles up. And then 1.5. Yep. 1.5. Bosh. Six pips later. In about what? 15. 15, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. He was at the trade. But look at this. Look at how much more you could have held this. Look. You could have got a 5, five. to 1. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about testing. Seeing what you're happy taking out this trade. Out of these trades. It works really, really well. Um, really, really well. It's actually a sell right now on um, ADJ. Actually, no, no, there wasn't. Right. 
I was having a look at 7.45, that wasn't a trade. Yeah. Um, so 8 o'clock. What about this one, Jacob? 8 o'clock. Uh, it's too late, isn't it? Because the cross happens here. And you'd be entering on this one. Which is above yeah. the two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically what... Um, we've been testing and it's working really really well so just to let you know if you guys want to follow it um i'm looking at aussie cad today yeah. um you can see we're below the 200 we've pushed up okay and i'm waiting for this to cross to the downside if we get across to the downside we're above that um zero mark if we get across to the downside i'll be looking to take a short and then I'll be looking to put my stop two candles above and then taking my one to one out of the trade. So I hope you guys like that. <laughs> and that's what we're going to be trading as of Monday. Yep. We're good if we can get a, a signal. I didn't really want to use that word, but um, a trade idea alive on stream, wouldn't it, with this new system? Yeah. There's also a possible long on Euro NZ NZD. Uh, oh, I don't have that. There you go, there's another pair. What? No, I didn't have Euro New Zealand on my chart. Oh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to uh, get my... So this here, oh no, it's gone back to that. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me just give it that. Thing. So we basically had the MACD coded to give us um, easier viewing of signals. <clears throat> um, I can go over it, actually. Yeah, please, because my one's gone messed up again. I've got fixed. Um, so, yeah, we're above the 200, this line here. And we're basically just waiting for that cross to, to take place um which it seems like it's going to happen any minute now um and then yeah we'll take a buy stops will probably be low below this one um mm -hmm. or this one depending on where the cross happens and then take profits will be like around here somewhere yeah nice small trades yeah pretty simple pretty simple but we'll see what happens Nice, right, so let me mark that one as well. You know what's really nice about this and the reason why we're telling everyone is um, one, to give you guys a good strategy to use. Um, two, so that we can fire off trades in the morning. And three, um, what we all can do in the stream, anyone watching this, if anyone sees any opportunities, you can shout it out and say, yep, there's an opportunity on so-and-so pair, so-and-so pair, and we can all take advantage of it. So yeah, it's I like think we'll, it would be we all can help each other out. I think it would be good as well if we all get into a call. So maybe starting next week, um, we just go into the, the general kind of trading chat instead of like a private one. Yep. And then just people can join whenever they want. Yeah, that would be good. Kind of chat. So if you're not part of Discord, um, join. Um, Jacob, how do you get the link again? It says it at the bottom of the screen. It says it at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Exclamation mark Discord. Yes. Well, you know, there's loads of things down there. You can do whatever you want. Uh, join Discord and then, yeah, next week will be quite fun. So anyway, let's go back to my normal trade. Oh my god! There you go, guys. <laughs> T <laughs> TP hit. Oh well. So yeah, nice trade. Thanks. I think, it, I think it's going to close bearish. I think so. <laughs> 
Um, oh dear. There you go, my analysis was right. There could be a buy setup now though, because if this comes into that little red candle, and then we get a bullish candle, would you not take a buy on that? Um, I would. I can do. My problem is I'm 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 sell bias on the four hour. Right. Because I'm sell bias on the four hour, I don't really want to go against um, what is going on. But you saying that with a candle this large, what normally happens when it closes? You get a retracement, right? Yeah. Grab some orders, at least around fifty percent. So on a lower time frame, let's on a 15 minute or something, um, you could potentially take a buy um, to the upside and aim for a very, very small target. But mm. to me, that's counter trending now. Right. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't really want to counter trend. Um, but can I just say something? Can, can you all see what?